music such a powerful thing? Music, performance, concerts, they make people feel things. And I think this song as well, the One World One Song, the lyrics are, are really, it's like, it's just got such a simple message behind it, but really powerful at the same time. The Hunger Project really was a movement to start off with, founded by John Denver, the country singer. Really for people to sign up to, sort of like a global petition, to say that you know hunger should be ended and everybody should pledge to make that happen. For the past 20 years has been working on the ground in Africa and South Asia and Latin America with rural, isolated communities. This whole piece, although it's really being done for everybody around the world and for the whole Hunger Project community, it's 22 countries. We are just a starting element, but we're sort of coming in from a different angle and partnering with arts and music to sort of help to raise the profile and establish the Hunger Project more formally in, in, in the UK. Care for one another, and no one stands alone, afraid apart. Single voice is weak, just a whisper. In the dark. We are so blessed in terms of the people that we have supporting us with this project. Um, Dion Warwick, Fine Times Grammy Award winner, the person who helped us set up this whole project in the beginning, is, is leading the vocals with one of our youngest supporters, Joe McKeldry, and is really you know, an exciting young artist in his own right. And then we have a London Community Gospel Choir, and fabulously, right from you know the future of, of Ending Hunger, we have the children from the newly formed World Hunger Day Choir. Well, it's really fun to do this. I mean, not many people get to come and record a, a song at the age of 12 or 13. So I think it's a really good idea. Where hunger is no longer, where children grow up stronger every day. Well, the song was written specifically for, for the Hunger Project as an anthem, something that everybody can pay attention to, very much like We Are the World and very much like That's What Friends Are For. There are a lot of people who don't want to emotionally get involved on a day-to-day -day basis, but will participate when there's music involved. Music has a very, very strong way of making people want to do things and do them. go into a community and say, this is how you should do it. The change is led from within that particular community. And as soon as the possibilities of ending hunger are introduced to those communities, from within those communities, and as soon as there's a vision that starts happening that says, let's not accept that hunger and poverty is gonna be with our community. Let's, let's be the last people in this community that have suffered in extreme hunger and poverty. Let us be the change. The ultimate goal is to end hunger. The world's our oyster is a big challenge and we've got to end hunger and it's not gonna take small solutions. It's gotta be brave, it's gotta be bold, it's gotta be innovative. And it's got to be something that people enjoy being a part of as well. I'm asking you step up and tell people about this song. Sing it. Take it to your churches. Take it to your communities. Take it to your faith groups. Take it to your schools. Take it to wherever you go to sing and make it happen with us.